Hey everyone, this is Charlie, and you're watching The Burrow. So as you all know, it is a little bit past the second week of NaNoWriMo, um, and what a second week it was. I think if in the first week I was feeling mostly overwhelmed and like I couldn't understand why I had taken on the project and, and all these other sort of rather negative feelings, I guess, um, this week brought with it, I guess, relief and acceptance and, and happiness, I guess, would, 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 would be the best way to put it. I found that as I got deeper and deeper into the story, right, that I wanted, I wanted more and more to, to find out what was going to happen. And of course that, that drew me forward, right? That was my, that was my carrot on the stick and I was the horse, racing, 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 writing more words so that I myself as a, as both the creator, but mostly as a reader could see what was going to happen in the story. And I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, in shorter works, I never really felt like I mean, yeah, I wanted to get to the end, and I wanted to make a good story out of it, but not because I was interested to see and where it would go. Um, and that's sort of a weird thing too. Like, if you're, if if we accept that notion that writers are gods, right? Um, then surely I should I should already understand where it's going, and there shouldn't be really any excitement to it. But that's just it's simply not the case. Um, and the big thing too, uh, along with that, is how invested I am with my with my characters, and. Uh, talking with some of my my friends who are doing NaNoWriMo, I know that one of their one of their big problems is that writing this, they never they didn't feel like they had the time to take um, and really work in any characterization of their characters during this process, and that's something that I had said too. But um, I don't know. I think at least for me, that was because in the first week, even though I had written some vignettes and I had and I had uh, drawn up some character sketches. Um, I didn't really know my characters beyond like this really superficial level, right? Like a, almost like a stat sheet. I knew them from their stat sheets. But now that I know them, I'm so much more interested in writing for them and I'm, I'm so invested in what happens to them. I think probably one of my main characters, which I think I knew this from the beginning, probably is going to get the axe, which is unfortunate, but it serves the story, so what can you do? So yeah, overall, I'm just I'm just really really interested to keep writing this, and I really care about my characters now, and I think that's that's part of why I'm I'm quite successful. I think I'm almost to thirty thousand words, so I'm I'm more than halfway there. I think I'm I'm set to finish a little early actually, but I want to keep writing beyond the minimum. That that I guess is the really big difference that I've seen this week, um, and something that has really boosted up my numbers on a daily basis. Beyond that, though. Uh, I've noticed like a personal change for me that doesn't really have anything to do with the story, doesn't have anything to do with the writing, but rather the effect that the writing and the story and having like this dedication to something that is all my own um, is having on my life, and that is how much more happy I find that I am, um, or inspired, which I don't know, maybe it's a little bit, egocentric isn't quite the word, but a little, uh, anyway to inspire yourself, right? Um, and I'm feeling very, very inspired by myself, so if I can get my writing done in the morning, then I feel great all day that I got it done. If I don't get it done till night, I don't feel that good during the day, but I feel great when I'm going to sleep, right? Oh, I got my words in, I got, I got that chunk done, right? And also, beyond that though, just like, I've noticed that I've felt like this overarching sense of, of happiness, I guess, and it's something I always knew to be true. Um, if you are a creative person, right, if you don't create, it becomes uh, a contributing factor to you being, you feeling sad, you feeling depressed, you feeling like you're not doing anything important. Even if you have a job that you love, even if you're doing other things you love, which is definitely the case uh, for me. You know, I, I love my job as a teacher. But um, at the end of the day, because it's not something that I'm doing for myself, right, it's something that I'm, I'm going to for a paycheck and I'm doing it for a company, yeah. There's just such a big, big difference there, and just sort of, um, I, I feel, I feel really, really great. I feel proud of myself, and I feel, I don't, I feel happy that all these things that I've said that I wanted to do for so long, they seem to be happening. And whether or not the book turns out to be something that's worth uh, turning, you know, making it into something more, that remains to be seen. But I'm, I'm really, really happy now, in stark contrast to the first week that I'm doing this. Uh, so, what do you guys think? How do you feel differently from NaNoWriMo week 1 to NaNoWriMo week 2, and now that we're into actually the beginning of week 3? Let me know down in the comments below, guys. I'd love to talk to you about it. 
Uh, thanks always for watching, guys. Please check out uh, the previous videos on this channel. Emily's been running her own uh, NaNoWriMo weekly slash daily vlog, too. So go check out and see how she's doing. Subscribe to the bro if you haven't already. We're going to have these videos, these... <laughs> We're going to have these videos ongoing for NaNoWriMo uh, on a weekly basis at least. And then of course we're going to return to uh, what we were doing before with more topical stuff uh, coming at the beginning of December. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you very soon indeed. Go write something awesome. I've also been thinking about doing these little cartoons about NaNoWriMo, but I haven't got around to finishing them yet. So today I actually was able to write a lot at work as you can see. Starting with the red ink, I wrote seven pages and transcribed that was just over 1100 words, I think. So I finished up that word count for the day and I was hoping to get another day's worth of words in tonight, but I am just too tired. I think what I'm gonna do is just um, write a little mini outline for the next few days on what's happening in the story. So the good news is I'm feeling really good about my story. Uh, I think last week I was a little concerned about the characters and kind of not enough characterization coming through. And I think I really worked on that this week, so I'm pretty happy with how it's going so far. The bad news is I'm now two days worth of words behind, and I have kind of a full weekend coming up, but I'm hoping to make some headway this next, next coming week.